Next question, please. My question for the Deputy Prime Minister, Adrian Gobriel, CTV National News. Minister Freeland, we've been trying to reach out to you for some time to speak with you about an investigation that we're working on. Uh, it looks into money service businesses, Canadian-based MSBs that are trading, that are run trading in currency exchange apps and services. Some of these MSBs are being run by international criminals who are registering their businesses here in Canada, registering with FinTrack, and using shared office spaces as their address. They're using Canada to legitimize their Ponzi schemes. One business, actually multiple businesses, have set up their office address right here in Markham, Ontario. They've marketed their trading app to investors in Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, and then allegedly vanished with upwards of $1 billion. Critics say that so far the measures taken by the Department of Finance have done little to crack down on MSBs. How do you believe these criminal MSB corporations who are stealing hundreds of millions of dollars reflect on our country? So thank you for the question. Um, and what you report and allege in your question is very, very serious. I take money laundering in Canada extremely seriously. And in fact, our government and I as finance minister have introduced tougher anti-money laundering legislation than any government in Canadian history, including further empowering FinTrack. But I think your question is an important one. I think we do have more work to do here in Canada, both in terms of ensuring that we have the tools we need to crack down on fraud and money laundering, and also that law enforcement agencies across the country are doing their job.